hello guys welcome to this tutorial series on java interview questions so uh, in this series of tutorial i am covering different java interview questions asked so i have a list of the questions so i will discuss all important questions that are commonly asked in java so i am an architect i have around 15 to 20 years experience as a java de developer so I have huge list of the questions and important questions so those will definitely help you to crack the Java interview so let's get started in this video I'm going to cover immutable class that is a important question in Java so so I will start with the introduction then uh, I will show step by step how we can create immutable class using Eclipse and what is the real world use of the immutable class and advantage of Im immutable class and immutable JDK implementation and top interview questions related to immutable class so this is a, a standard that I'm going to follow to each and every question so I will cover with all these steps so uh, immutable class in Java is a class which cannot be modified we cannot change immutable class content yes so whenever we create a immutable class so the basic idea behind immutable class is nobody can modify it so immutable class cannot expose any way to modify their state immutable class fields are initialized once using constructor and never changed again so basically we create a constructor in a class and then uh, we initialize ob object of the class all the property of the class using the constructor of that class and they will not be any other way to modify the property of the class so these are the two uh, basic uh, idea behind the Im immutable class so let's check how we can create a immutable class so these are the steps to create it the first step is make class as a final class such that class cannot be inherited and so no child will be created for the immutable class and no child can change it its state so the first step we have to make class as a final so that it cannot be inherited and the second step step is make all data member private final such that no one can access or modify them once object is created for class third step is provide a parameterized constructor to create objects and initialize class properties and the fourth step is provide getter methods to all variable of the class such that we can get value outside the class and don't provide any setter methods such that no one can modify variable value so these are the five steps so so we cannot provide any setter to modify the value we will make the class final and we will make all the member variable fi private final and we will provide a parameterized constructor to create the object and initialize the properties of the class and to get the value from the class we will use the getter method to do that so so let's say we have a loan class and we want to make that class as a immutable class so let's do that let's create a loan class okay loan class and let's say it's in the package com dot dot java dot interview dot questions okay so our first step that we have discussed is to make the class as a final class so let's do that public final class loan okay let's change it to loan okay let's change the class name also yep so now let's create some properties so the properties should be private final okay so let's say we have a loan id 
and let's say so it should be a string and so we have a loan type also okay so yep we have two fields here so the third the third step is to create a public constructor so let's do that public loan so let's pass the loan id and loan type into the parameters of the constructor okay so let's pass the loan type also okay so let's give the values to loan id okay so this is loan id equal to loan id and pass the loan type also okay so so we have we make the class as a final that that is the first step second is to make let's check it out yeah make all data members as private third step we have created the constructor fourth step we need to provide the getter for them so let's create the getter methods okay so let's use the ide to generate it okay so yep okay so we have the getter methods also so get getter method we have to use because we need to get the values of this class to when uh, outside the class so using getter method we can do that so we don't have to provide the setter method for this class so if you provide a setter method so it means any anybody can pass any value to the setter function and can any anybody can modify this uh, loan class so yep the all five steps are i think covered we make the class as final we make all data members as a private and we have provided the parameterized constructor and getter method and there is no setter method in the class so yeah this is our immutable class so in this way we can create a immutable class in java okay so so i cover all these three points uh, introduction step to create immutable class and uh, immutable class using eclipse so these four steps i will cover in my next video so that I will explain the real world use of the immutable class and advantage using immutable class and JDK implementation and top interviews question related to immutable class. So that I will explain in my next video. So that's all for this video. So if you have uh, not subscribed my channel, so uh, you can subscribe it such that you will get a notification once I upload a new video. So this is a channel Crack Java. So you can directly click on the channel and subscribe it. So this is a button to subscribe. Just click on that. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.